Yo, what's going on guys? Benny Brooks here and welcome back for another video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at why I think it might not be a good idea to buy Lego Peach. Before we get into this, I just really quickly wanted to say there's a card in the top right for a video I released on my second channel, Benny. I really enjoyed making this video, so I'll, the card just takes you straight to the video, so might as well just click that. Go watch that video. It's really cool. I really enjoyed editing that. It's also a really cool song that we made them the video about so yeah all right with all that stuff out of the way thank you guys so much for 30,000 subs by the way i kind of missed that goal um but it is greatly appreciated couldn't have done it without you guys you guys are super cool all right with all that stuff out of the way let's just jump right into the topic for today's video now let me make one thing clear i don't want this to be a hate video at all i <laughs> i know controversy has been on my channel lately about me copying lego so this is not another controversy video i mean it kind of is i guess but just hear me out i make some good points now, the first point that I would like to make is that when Lego Mario first started, they started out with the traditional Lego Super Mario. There was a lot of different new features, like the scanning feature, and we haven't really seen this sort of electronic aspect combined with Lego. I mean, sure, we had, like, different series, like, hit inside that, like, integrated with an app on your phone or something like that, but this is a completely different thing, and it was really cool to see at first all of the different features that you could do and then we got Luigi and there was this whole different multiplayer aspect that was kind of introduced into the Lego Mario universe but now with Peach I'm finding that there isn't really a new feature that they are adding it's kind of just another character and I have actually been getting like a bunch of messages on Instagram saying that there isn't a three-player multiplayer system which if that is true that kind of defeats the whole purpose of why they would in like release an interactive peach unless they are retiring the lego super mario starter course in which case we couldn't get the lego super mario interactive figure and peach is a substitute for that if that's the case then i feel like lego should just release a new starter course for mario for the newcomers to the lego mario universe because after a while lego has to recycle different sets to keep the market fresh you know economics and all that but yeah, I know I've had mixed feelings on Peach on my channel. In fact, at first, I really liked the idea. But now really thinking about it, it's $60 for what I already have. I already have a electronic figure that scans stuff and gives me coins and I can make content about. And it feels like Peach is unnecessary. Then again, I feel like the sets that come along with her wave, like the Peach's Castle set and the other one with Kemic are like really good and really well made and I want to see more of that type of building. I feel like as a collective, as a like a whole wave of what we are getting in August 1st, I think that the Peach wave is really good. I feel like there's a lot of strong sets, a lot of strong characters, but I feel like as an interactive figure, Peach is lacking in a lot of different departments that could have been avoided if they would have included a interactive figure like Captain Toad or even like Rosalina or something and they could have given her like a space power. I don't know, just a new feature. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, card in the top right if you want to watch that video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, have a wonderful rest of your day. See you guys later. Bye!